morning, everybody. Happy Facebook world. Yay. Good Talk morning. All right, we're getting ready for the show. Do we use headsets? We can. Yeah, I don't usually use them. You don't usually use them? Hair. Oh, it does? But, um, you know, if you want to feel official, you can pop them on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yay. See, you do look more official. He wants to be legit. I know. I'm a poser. Bring yours up a little bit, oh. There you go. Yay! <gasps> Here comes the intro music. How am I looking on the mic? Are we good? You're good. All right. Awesome. Yeah, all right. Here we go. All right. Yay! It's Tuesday morning, my favorite day of the week. It sounds louder this time. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 425 Show, your place to be for all things real estate and lifestyle related here on the East Side. I'm your host, Nicole Mangina, with Windermere Real Estate. And, uh, whoo, the market, we were laughing this morning. Last week I said the market is squirrely. It's interesting. It feels like it's starting to kind of shake out a little bit, which we knew would happen. In fact, part of our pre-show discussion was uh, I had an offer come in on one of my listings last week. It's a Seattle property, so, you know, really a competitive market. And the offer that we had come in was the buyer is doing 5% down. And I thought that was really telling. Great buyer, super solid financially. They're pre-approved. They're ready to go. But they're a lower down payment. Um, and... You know, these are buyers that have struggled previously in the super competitive market. Even when you're approved, you know, if a seller is looking at 10 offers on a property and they've got cash to choose from, or buyers that are maybe still getting financing but have a bigger down payment, often they take either the cash or the larger down payment because it feels more secure. Whereas now, you know, we, we had our one offer. It was a really solid, fabulous offer, just a little bit of a lower down payment. Um, and I think that is indicative of where the market is going. P things are shaking out. Buyers are getting out of the wait and see mode. They're stepping into the market. They're making offers. But we'll also see some buyers that are feeling empowered to step back into the market that have maybe been sitting on the sidelines because they did have a lower down payment and just didn't feel like they could be competitive. So it'll be interesting to see how that all works, but I think that's a good sign for everybody. So without further ado, I would like to interview or introduce today's guest, Tao with Atlas Junk Removal. How are you? I'm great, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm so happy that you're here and it, we didn't plan it this way, but it no, worked out <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> because last week we had Denise and Vlasta with Simplify Experts on the show and we talked about organizing and clearing clutter. And um, I think everybody loves that idea, but then the whole thing is, well, now what do you do with, you know, great, you've gotten all this clutter out of your house, what do you do? Usually it just moves to the garage and it hangs out there for another six months, right? So you've kind of cleared it, but not really. Correct. And today we've got you on the show and this is, this is what you are all about. That is right. That's what I'm all about. So we at Atlas Junk Removal, our motto, our slogan is reclaim your space. Love it. Right. So clients, you know, like, like your, your guest spoke about last week, you mm -hmm. declutter, you move things from the house into the garage, into the deck. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes they stay there for a long time. Sometimes you want to donate some of these items. Sometimes you want them to go to like, you know, maybe the transfer station or something, but you, you don't know what to do. That's where we come in. We come in and take these items, take them away from you, clean up the space. You have more room to use your garage for what it's used for, which is like parking cars. <laughs> right, which, you know, the weather's turning. It's right, actually kind exactly. of in the summer. Who cares if your car's outside right. in the winter? You kind of want it You're gonna in want the garage. garage. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, but basically that's what we do. You know, we remove um, just unwanted things that people want to get rid of, you mm -hmm. know, appliances, old furniture, you know, sometimes even yard debris, things like that, just to, um, you know, alleviate that burden from people because, you know, a lot of people don't know what to do. They just have this clutter and they don't, you know, they, they don't know they have the option of calling someone to come take it away for them. Right, which is, I think it's a big concern for a lot of people. Either A, they don't have the type of vehicle Correct. that they can put that stuff in, right. right? You know, bags of clothes, that's easy, throw it in a car. But, you know, when you have bigger things, storage units, um, furniture, you know, appliances, it's how to do it. But also, I think a lot of us, myself included, when you want to get rid of things, you want to be a little bit thoughtful about it, right? Correct. Not everything needs to go 
to the dump. You want exactly. it. There's a lot of things that have good usable life and could be of use to somebody. And often it's not even about getting the money for it, but you just want to know that it didn't end up in a landfill and Correct. it went to go help somebody. Right. And that's what, you know, one of the other things, I mean, that's the reason we're called Atlas Junk Removal. If you, if you look at our, our logo, we have, a, you know, a an image of the of a globe, you mm -hmm. know, and then we have the recycle sign, you know, all around it. And the, the main reason for that is because, you know, we're very environmentally conscious. Right. We want to make sure that, you know, we're serving our community, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we're also taking care of the environment because at the right. end of the day, we only have one earth, right? So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so we make sure that not, I mean, only, you know, as little as possible goes into the landfills. Mm -hmm. So we know we, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. So anything Fantastic. that can be recycled, you know, we make sure it gets recycled to be, you know, made into something else like things like metals mm -hmm. and, you know, cardboards and papers and things like that. And then just, just trying to make sure that not as much stuff goes into the landfill. I mean, that that's, you know, honestly one of our major, major um, goals is to, is, is to keep as, as little from, you know, as little have as little yes. going to let the landfill as possible, yeah. And that's great because then you probably know where to take things. I know, I remember years ago we did a remodel on our house. We bought an old 70s house. Um, and we loved the location, we loved the house, but it was original, 70s vibe, right. right? So there were a lot of things we wanted to take out. And, you know, back then I wish I had known you because there were things that, like, we did not want and had right. no use for, but they could have gone somewhere and you just don't know where to go. And, you know, sometimes by the time you get to that point, you're you're kind of tired right. and you're kind of over it, right? right. <laughs> and you're only willing to put so much effort into figuring out how to distribute this stuff. So, you know, to know that there's a resource of someone who you just, you're dialed into all of that, right. and, you know, can really come in and help people. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I think, and, and also like, mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that I use the word help because, mm -hmm. you know, helping people is, you know, that's, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, we mm -hmm. have to like, you know, just, um, adding value to people by right. taking all this stuff away and you know it just it's not just like sometimes it's it's an emotional time like like, like for instance like even for you I did um I did I worked with one of your clients one time yes. whose some um, parent like a I had, think their dad passed their dad away. Had passed away so we did yes. some some estate clean out and you know you can you just imagine the burden we took off of you know the it kids. was they went on and on about right. how much they appreciated you and how right. helpful that was right so you know so it's, it's it's there's just a lot that goes into into the service that we provide yes. you know, so and we have to be very um you know it's, it's very sensitive so we have to be very considerate when we come into places like that mm -hmm. and you just have to you know ease into it and you know because sometimes people want to hold on to some things you know some things have sentimental value yes to people so you know we also make sure that we check and make sure that we're not just you know picking everything up but we're also asking our clients hey do you does you know this is a picture here do you want to keep this or this is we found this ornament here you know does this have you know does you know is this been in the family for a long time right so we're also very careful about kind of sorting and just working with the client mm -hmm. and not just like pulling everything out but just actually having the time and the patience to say hey you know or we found this under the mattress, or we found this in the box here, you know, does this, you know, do you want to keep this? So, right. And, you know, some people appreciate that, and some people just want everything gone. <laughs> yeah, that's right? I mean, the, there's a different time and place, right? Correct. But I, and I think that's great. I do want to make sure we point that out, that, you know, you'll come and get the stuff off the curb if that's what somebody needs, right. but also if you need someone to help and get in there and kind of roll up your sleeves, you really right. did that for these clients of mine, because their dad had passed away, it was a little bit unexpected, so the place that he lived was not at all prepared for that right no, I mean it, it was full of furniture right. he had worked from home I know he had one whole bedroom full filled with boxes yeah. of files <laughs> because they, he had not he, it wasn't ready for that right, right. Um, so there was a lot to go through there and you really helped them tremendously. right thank you I was I was really it was my first time working with you working with one of your clients yeah. and it was it was it was, it was, um, it was one to remember yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember my clients are like, wow, that ended up being a bigger project than any right, of us it was, yes. um, really thought it was going to be. But they really appreciated that you got in there and you just you saw it through with them and you were there for whatever came up and whatever they needed help right. with on that. So that was huge. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. And another thing that we talked about, I think it's good to talk about, you know, like I said, there's the whole you cleared out your house, you got a bunch of junk in your garage, you need help with that. But there's different scenarios that you help with another one that we were just talking about I have going on with a client is uh, you know a lot of times a client moves and there's leftover furniture it doesn't they're not taking it with them for whatever reason and I've got a client like that right now and you know they want to be altruistic of oh let's have whatever charity come and pick it up even Correct. those charities that come to pick up 
you know, you assume it's an easy thing. You're giving them a house full of furniture. <laughs> right. They should, like, be there the next day, right? That's not always the case. No, Actually, it's, not always. Never the never. case. Never. <laughs> like, I think the shortest I've ever seen is six weeks. You know, it's right. usually more like two to three months. Right. And, and sometimes it's about three to four weeks. But but still, you know, yeah. you have someone who's moving out of the country yeah. or moving, you know, uh, you know, across state lines. And, you know, they want these items gone, you know, like, within a week. And right. they actually want to donate these items. Yes. You know, but, you know, like, say, the big blue truck or Goodwill or Salvation yeah. Army or Habitat for they Humanity. Cannot make they cannot make it out there. And that's where we come in because we, we just don't, you know, we come in in times like that and we know, honestly, within, the, you know, 48 hours is the yeah. maximum, you know, and right. we'll be there to take it away. Yeah, which you is know, great, right? And then we right? also donate them. And then also what we also do is also provide the, um, the client with a tax receipt. Perfect. You know, from wherever it is we're taking mm -hmm. it to so that way they can actually deduct it from the taxes. At the yeah. End, yeah. That's awesome. So, and if so, I'm, there are people out there right now, I'm sure, thinking, oh my gosh, I need this guy to come to right. my house, right? Especially Thanksgiving's in a couple weeks. It is. They uh, probably have people coming to their house and are like, whew, I gotta step up my oh game. Oh, yes. So, this is also um, the holidays. The holidays it's a busy time. It's, for a you. Busy time. Um, it's busy in the sense that, you know, a lot of people have family coming into town. They have this mm -hmm. old furniture they've been holding on to or they've had for a long time. Right. But you don't want, you know, mom and dad who's coming from right <laughs> to, see <it. laughs> to see it you know so yeah so during the holidays we find a lot of people actually clearing a lot of things out just yes. to prepare for you know for family visits mm -hmm. and then a lot of people actually do a lot of clean outs as well for the decorations you know mm -hmm. like old christmas trees and old decorations and things like that old lights and that they want to yes. get rid of that maybe like just you know falling apart right just so they can get some new ones in mm -hmm. so so yeah christmas trees um Old decorations, old furniture, old appliances, yes. you know. Uh, a lot of people want to get a new stove, you know, for, uh, yeah. that, for that turkey. It's going to taste so much better with it. It's the stove. Right, right. By the way, it's probably not the stove. But you go ahead and get your new appliance. <laughs> and call me to come take it with the old one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I. So, so if someone's thinking that, how do they get a hold of you? All right, so, um, let's, I mean, we're... we're we're on the web. Um, okay. You can reach us. Uh, I mean, we're on Facebook, we're on Yelp, you know, we're on Google. Um, yes. You can call us, 425-381-9630. Um, you can Perfect. go on our website. It's atlasjunk.com. Fantastic. Atlasjunk.com. Um, <clears throat> and um, I also want to touch, I know you're in real estate. Uh -huh. um, biggest, biggest clients in the summertime are my real estate agents. I bet. You know, because, you know, seller sells, they leave, the buyer moves in. The sellers left a bunch of stuff. It happens. It happens all the time, you know. <laughs> it does. And, um, and so you know, we come in there, you know, like some, you know, sometimes we go in and we remove things even before the, um, you know, the property gets listed, mm -hmm. you know, before staging. Right. You know, so we all have. It's like we all have a part to play, you know. I come yes. remove the stuff. The stager comes in and the photographer comes in. Yes. You know, um, so so you know, we we serve people across the board from you know businesses to private residences to you know even we've done some government agencies we did some That's work great. recently for the Lake Washington School District you know we've done work for the Russian Embassy we've done work for the US so you know we're just wow. like trying to everybody has something that we, I mean we live in a consumer we, yeah, we, <laughs> we like society we stuff. like we like buying stuff and you know when we buy new things we have to get rid of our old things so yes um, and, and that's where we come in, you know, there, there's a need for it in the marketplace. We're trying to fill that need and we're trying to like serve our community and serve our clients. So, um, I mean, it couldn't be any better. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I think the holidays, you know, and I've always heard that, I, I, especially in this area of the country because our days are so much shorter, right? In the summertime, we're just, you're out all the time, right? right? You know, as the days get shorter, you get into the holidays, you kind of start nesting. You spend more time inside. Inside, yes. So you start to notice the clutter, right? Right, you do. Sometimes you just don't notice And then another thing that happens there. when you're stuck inside is you go on Amazon and you buy a lot of stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but you know, um, don't feel bad. I know. Buy Was your it stuff. Black and Friday and Cyber Monday and then should have... Atlas Junk Tuesday, Tuesday or something yeah, like yeah, that. We'll come. Monday through <laughs> Sunday through Sunday through Saturday. There we'll you there. go. <laughs> yeah. Clear out all the stuff or your old stuff to make room for all the stuff you bought on the Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Right, right. right. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, do you have any area? How how big is the area that you cover? So we um we're based right now. We're based out of the east side. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, four two yeah. five. Woo -woo. Yeah. Um, so we you know we do you know the Kirkland, Bellevue, Redmond, mm -hmm. you know. 
Issaquah, Sammamish areas. Uh -huh. um, but very recently, we're just opening up, we're expanding to the north side. So right. we're opening up location, a location up in the Linwood. So we're going to be serving the Linwood, Edmonds, Bothell, Everett, Marysville areas. That's amazing. Um, coming in the next, you know, in the next week few weeks or so so wow. um, so yeah we're expanding our service because we're getting a lot of um getting a lot of re requests from that side yeah. of town and we figured you know let's go give the people what they want i love it how did you get started doing that um you know <laughs> before this i actually worked for coca-cola okay yeah and i drove one of those big red trucks you see did you yeah i did awesome. did you do the christmas lights don't they do the lights i don't know in the yeah, commercials well, they have lights in the commercials they have lights <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool in the commercial. Right. But, you know, I also <laughs> wanted to kind of like, um, I've always wanted to own a business and I've always wanted to, you know, to serve. Um, and I, you know, I had um, a lady goes to my gym and she's like a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to her and, you know, I, I, you know, I thought about doing this and she told me, hey, you know, it's, it's a good market, you know, yeah. you should look into it. So I, I did some research and I looked into it and I, you know, just... Um, give it a shot you know even yeah. while i still had my job so i, I just kind of like had this as a side hustle to start mm -hmm. with and then eventually you know after i build up enough clientele it kind of you know grew into what it is today so i you yeah. know, was able to like transition from you know my full-time job to doing this full-time now and you know so now we're you know working on getting a second truck you know we have a full-time employee one part-time employee so hopefully add more staff in the next few months so 2019 is um you know we're coming it's a big we're, growth we're, year for you big growth year for us 2019 so we're coming that's awesome i love it i love hearing stories about how yeah. people get started in things because rarely is it you know something oh when i was five years old i thought i'd have this business right right it's, yeah. but there's always like <laughs> just these things that happen yeah, it's in just life. phases and steps in life that brings you yeah. back if you know i i come from a um I come from a you know banking and finance background. Okay. And, well, that's good. Know, that means you'll be in business for an extended period of time then, because you actually so, yeah. know the numbers. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but I was I was always like I always wanted to be like in an office or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, I don't but see now, you. Yeah, like but now I just uptight. love being outside and being you know just you know getting all sweaty and you know get my hands dirty is it's it's a, it's a good feeling exactly. especially knowing that you know the space we leave after the fact is going yes. to be clean you know and just seeing the, the you know the look on you know our clients faces yes. you know and just the appreciation they have yeah and the reviews you know it just shows that you know that we're making we're making an impact you know? that's awesome very cool. If you are just now joining us today, we have Tao with Atlas Junk Removal on the 425 show today. If you want to connect with Tao, you can find him on the web at atlasjunk.com or you can always go to nicolemangina.com forward slash podcast after the show and we'll have all of Tao's information and all kinds of good stuff because yes. I would imagine this is a yes. very busy time. All right, Nicole, you. before we move any further, I want to thank you so much. For, oh, absolutely. Number one, for having me on the show and number yes. two, for something I've noticed you've been doing lately and it's it's just inspiring to me because oh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I have a grateful heart. Okay, yeah. You know, I think gratitude, you know, begets opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, and the more, the, the more grateful you are, the more good Absolutely. things happen to For you. Sure. So, totally um, and you've that. been doing this gratitude videos lately. Yes. <laughs> and I really, really enjoy them and I, I love watching them. And it just makes me thankful for for the opportunities that I have and it makes me thankful for where I'm at today and there's just so much it. to be grateful for so so thanks for for doing that and thanks for for having me on your show oh you are so welcome I love hearing that it's always yeah. nice you know you put stuff out there and you're like I don't right. know. you don't know who it impacts you I know, know. So. exactly and you don't know who's watching <laughs> I know little big brother moment out right. there but I like it um, <laughs> if you want to know what Tao's talking about I do it on my Instagram you can always follow me on Instagram Nicole Mangina is my little Instagram handle, and I do it in my Instagram stories. So we have an adorable little dog, Wrigley, and I walk her every morning. It's one of my favorite parts of my day. And as I'm walking, I think about my, what I'm grateful for. And I started adding that to my Instagram stories. So if you tune in um, at Nicole Me and Gina on Instagram, you'll be able to see what my daily gratitudes are. Today's was, I just love this time of year, the fall and the leaves it's and everything. It's beautiful, They're so beautiful. It? And I saw this quote somewhere else. I have to admit, I can't take credit for thinking of it but it just really hit me the day I saw it that fall is God's reminder that letting go is beautiful huh. right that's, like, that's, um, I thought that's that profound. was <laughs> super profound right. right because usually we view letting go as a bad thing or sad or there's right. something or we're just 
we're afraid of what's new and so we tend to right. hold on to whatever's there. But look at all those leaves and they turn such beautiful colors and they then do. they fall and... And then they, they bloom become, again. And then, exactly, and because the tree knows, it's like, whatever, I like this. You know, the, the tree doesn't say, this was the best leaf I've ever grown, I have to hold on <laughs> to it. I can it. never <laughs> let go of this leaf. I'll never recreate this thing. They let it go, it's beautiful, and then come spring, they'll make more beautiful leaves. That's right. Sometimes I wish fall would like last longer. I do too. Yeah. I really like it when the trees turn all those colors. I, know, and I just don't, don't, don't turn to winter yet. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I wish we could, well, aside from, from Christmas, I wish we could just go from fall to yes. summer. <laughs> I do too. Or at least spring, Oh, spring, right? yes. Yeah. I know. I always, I, I love the idea of a white Christmas, but usually by about January 3rd. Yeah, and they want it to snow, and then January 3rd, I'm like, oh, let's move on. Yeah, no more Doesn't snow. really work that way, but oh well, yeah. that's okay. Cool, so it's the 425 show. We have to talk about the 425. What are your favorite things about life on the 425? The people. They are great people. The people, yes. They are great people that live here. I have to say something. I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but I'll say it all the same. Okay. So the 425, as we know, you know, there's a lot of, you know, we have a lot of influential people in we our do. community. And we have oh, a lot yeah. of people who are, you know, who are, you know, on, you know, the 1% of their you know, whatever field it is they're in, you Absolutely. know, we have tech people, we have, you mm -hmm. know, business people. And um, there's this um, general, con you know, notion that people have, that people who, people who are influential or people mm -hmm. who are successful, that they're very stuck up. Right. You know, and I have to admit, I, for a while in my life, at some point in my life, I believed that as well. Mm -hmm. Until I started to live here, and I started until I started to do business here. Really? Because I be I've seen now that these people actually are some of the nicest people in the world. Oh, that's wonderful. Really, they really are because they're yeah. just so open and so generous and they're so kind. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so the I think it's just it's just um, maybe, maybe some people spoiled it for everyone, but yeah, um, I'm sure there's but some I think a lot of successful there. people are very. Um, a lot of my clients, and they're just also very nice. I'm also, they're, they're just so welcoming and they're very warm. Oh, that's so, I, so I really love the people. So that's, uh, that it's the, the one thing that I love the most about living here. I think that's great. I think that speaks a lot though about who you are as a person. Oh, well, because I you. think we attract, you know, who, people similar to who we are. And I think that absolutely defines you as well. Well, thank you very so much. I, think that I appreciate makes a big that. Difference. Well, thanks, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Feeling the love. Um, <laughs> So what else? What else do you love about living on the Fort Two? Um, I don't love the traffic. Nah, nobody does. Nobody that, does. That's but a hard it's, one to it's say. everywhere. But you know, <laughs> I, um, you know, it's it's beautiful. I mean, Bellevue, for for instance, has become it's, it's like a this new metro area. Like mm -hmm. everyone wants to like you know come see what it's all yeah. about. Um, I, I I love the um, the architecture. Yeah. Um, especially driving around and going to a lot of houses, especially like in Kirkland, for instance, they have all these new modern farm style houses. Like yeah, I love, I they? love real estate, and I just love, I love buildings, and I take pictures all the time, and I take videos all the time. That's so I great. just, re I just really love the community. I love the community. Mm -hmm. I love the people. I love doing business here. Um, I feel very safe and secure. Yes, you know, absolutely. there's, you know, the crime rate slow, mm -hmm. um, and everyone's, everyone's so nice. You know, I mean, I'm. I'm all about positivity and I'm all about, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm always laughing at something, you know. Yeah. So um, it's it's always, it's nice to live in a place where, you know, I can just be myself, right. you know, and just express myself yeah. um, and not, you know, really have anyone say, hey, you know, it's seven o'clock in the morning, why are you so happy? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Right. So, um, but you know, the, and then and then the colors, and then the views, and then the water. You know, it's just there's, there's it's so much. It's pretty great. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah. So, um, if you, if you want to go on a drive, you know, you can, you know, you can go, you know, drive through, you know, the countryside. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's wonderful. It's a, it's a great place to live, and yeah. it's a great place to do business as well. Absolutely. That's one of the things I have always loved about living here. It's kind of like whatever your thing is, right. you can find you can it find here. It, yeah. Right? Yeah. Whether it's the arts or being outside with the water, the right. mountains, and it's it's here. It you is. know, you can find your groove, you can find your people. Right. For sure. And it's, uh, we're again, a uh, new phone number for our second location, and they offered me a 206 number, and I said, mm -mm. No, you're a 425er. <laughs> yeah, I'm a 425er. Yeah, so. We
we got that sorted out. I love it. That's great. Again, it's uh, Tao is on the show today with Atlas Jump Removal. Yay! Hello, Facebook world. Uh, and we will have all of his contact information on the web after the show, nicolemangina.com forward slash podcast. You've got the east side, you've got Seattle, the north end. You cover a big area. Yeah, we are. We're covering, that's what, we're looking at about 50 to 70 mile radius. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah so, that's a lot. Yeah, we're everywhere. Very yeah. cool. But, um, you know, and we've done work even in the past, you know. Cause you Have know, you so, really? Yeah, Snoqualmie Pass. I mean, it was it was quite a project. But, yeah, but, you I'm know. guessing there's a little extra trip, trip charge on oh, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, but you know, um, but you know, um, in terms of pricing as well, like you know, we keep our prices very competitive. Yeah. Um, you know, with um, with the local businesses, we have a lot of big franchises who yeah. work in the neighborhood, um, who work in, in you know in the area as well. But you know, we're a whole lot cheaper than them because we don't have you know all those administrative costs yeah. and all the um, you know major advertising costs they have. Right. So we, we transfer all that savings onto our customers. So which is wonderful. Um, which is wonderful. I'm sure they so, appreciate and, that. Yeah, they do, and you know, a lot of people doing. Um, a lot of people love doing business with you know with local businesses and stuff. Like that, so. I do local business right. wherever I can. Yes, yeah, so I'm a I. big what is it? Small business. There's uh, Black Friday, but Small Business Saturday is my small favorite. Small Business Saturday. And I love do. That's I do right. almost all my shopping. Right. On small right. Business Saturday. I mean, where 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 the economy is that? So with yeah. Small, small businesses. Absolutely so. for sure. And right. you're pretty quick with your turnaround too. If people again right. are thinking, hey, I've got right. stuff coming up. Right. I need some help. They can reach out to you. Yes, and you're and pretty quick. We do a quick. lot of same day service. That's a fantastic. lot of next day service. The 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 longest we've gone is 48 hours you yeah know? aside from if you know a client wants to i mean i have some appointments booked for even the end of november but that's because the client wants it at that day right so, um, exactly. but, but we have you know we have we don't have a really long waiting time at all that's fantastic yeah. awesome thank you so much for being on the show today thank you for having me. it was great to Pleasure. have you here uh, again, if you need some stuff taken care of, Tao is your guy. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Bye. Have a great Halloween, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Cool. Okay.